as we sit in yet another Republican-led hearing to attack the IRS instead of making it work better, other Republicans are off slashing our entire Congress at the same time. They've stopped Congress from doing its work because they haven't been able to elect a Speaker of the House, so we can't pass any legislation. The most opportunistic Republicans have spent so long attacking our government that now Republicans don't even trust each other. But that's what the opportunists wanted, a weak Congress, a weak IRS. It's what they call smart government. But in reality, it's a federal government that can't serve its people. Have you heard of death by a thousand paper cuts? It's how to get rid of something by subtly attacking it over and over until it's finally gone. Death by a thousand cuts. For too many years, Washington politicians have worked to gut the Internal Revenue Service, and they found creative ways to cut the IRS time and time again. How do they do that? Phase one, they start by attacking its credibility. Look. I know that the agency that collects our taxes isn't easy to love. Believe me, opportunistic politicians know that too. So they go on TV and they give the IRS a verbal slash, falsely suggesting to the American people that the IRS is spying on us, targeting us for our political beliefs, or going after us to pay more money than we owe. What a bunch of BS. But even though those claims lack any evidence, we might be inclined to believe negative things about an agency that collects taxes. Look, even the Bible isn't that kind to tax collectors. These politicians easily succeed in creating and spreading hostility, making it even easier to slash the IRS again. Cue phase two full-on partisan investigations and attacks on the hardworking employees of the IRS. Look no further than the last time the committee Republicans went hard after the IRS. Under the Obama administration, Republicans falsely claimed the IRS was unfairly targeting conservative organizations more than progressive organizations applying for tax-exempt status. The IRS spent $20 million and produced 1 million pages of documents in response. Ultimately, Republicans didn't prove anything. They instead used it to justify diverting resources from IRS customer service, IT, and enforcement. But that's what opportunistic politicians wanted, to turn people against the IRS, to divert resources so the agency can't do its job, and then to take one last slash. That brings us to phase three, budget cuts. When politicians tell us that our tax collector is after us, no one wants to fund the collector, and that's exactly what's happened. Opportunistic politicians have succeeded in cutting IRS staff, tw staffing 20% lower than it was in 2010, even though the country has grown by 7% since then. The agency has been so battered that we'll need 52,000 new IRS employees just to meet the agency's needs. That's how bad it's gotten, folks, year after year of politicians taking slashes at the IRS. Opportunistic politicians haven't succeeded in totally killing the IRS by a thousand cuts, but the cuts have gotten deep and the agency is badly wounded. Who suffers from all this? We do. We all suffer. When we need help with our taxes, and no one is available at the IRS to pick up the phone? Blame a politician who slashed the IRS budget. When we want the IRS to make tax filing easier or work harder to make our information more secure, but the IRS can't invest in technology with adequate cybersecurity, blame a politician who slashed the IRS. When we pay our fair share of taxes and just want the IRS to make sure billionaires do the same, but they don't have the staff or the resources to do it, blame a politician who slashed the IRS. Our current House Republican majority 
has too many of these politicians who love to slash government institutions to their breaking points. Before my colleagues whack the IRS, consider that your whack might be one of the thousands of cuts over time that weakens our government and hurts the American people. Instead, we should all use today to determine what the IRS needs to serve the American people and how Congress can be an effective partner. That is, if Republicans ever elect a speaker so we can legislate. I yield back.